What is up guys? If you ever wanted to grow your Instagram pet or animal page, well in this video, I'm gonna teach you everything that you need to know about how to grow your Instagram pet or animal page quickly and easily. Let's get into it. So before we get into it, what's up? My name is Jake, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram following of over 250,000 followers and during the week, I'm a digital marketing manager. So you can trust me, we're gonna get you to the top here. And if you get any useful information out of this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and consider subscribing to the channel or join us in our discord server link is down in the description below let's get into it so to start this off I've got one of my Instagram pages animals being silly pulled up on the screen here and this is obviously an animal account I grew myself so you guys can trust that I know exactly what I'm doing when it comes to animal pages so the first thing that you want to get into when you're actually going on your animal page is you want to make it look aesthetically pleasing for people to follow or else they're just not gonna follow your page to be honest so when you look at my page here you've got my handle animals being silly so you want your Instagram Instagram handle for your pet or your animal page to be exactly what your page is about. So if you have a Samoyed and its name is Henry, then you want your Instagram handle to be Henry Samoyed A, so people can search for Samoyeds because they do on Google and Instagram and then they can actually pull up Henry the Samoyeds page. And B, it's really important because it just makes your account look a lot cleaner. You don't wanna use any underscores, you don't wanna use any periods in your handle. Just have it nice and clean, kinda of like I have here with animals being silly. So next you want a beautiful profile picture and you want beautiful cover photos. This is really important because when people visit your page, they're gonna remember the pictures more than they're gonna remember the words. And if the pictures are really memorable, people are gonna interact with your Instagram profile even more. And that's just super important to actually succeeding on the gram. So moving on to the name here, you'll notice that my name here is actually funny animal videos and that's because that is what my account is about so when people are searching Instagram or they're searching Google then your account can actually get pulled up based on what it is that people are searching so people aren't actually searching for your dog name Henry they're searching for Henry the Samoyed. So they're actually gonna be searching for the keyword Samoyed and that is what's actually gonna pull up Henry. So if your dog's name is Henry, put the word Henry and then put a line and then put the breed of the dog or the cat or whatever it is next to the line. So that way it is searchable on Instagram and Google because Instagram is just a giant search engine for those of you who don't know. And that's why I named my account Funny Animal Videos because if anybody searches for funny animal videos on the gram, then my account will just get pulled up and that's really good. Next, let's talk about the bio. Nobody wants to see a discussion dirty bio they want a bio that's informative talks about what kind of value they're gonna receive from actually following your page and that's why I do mine the way I did and you also want your bio to be super clean so by following my bio format of emoji line and then whatever it is you want people who visit your profile to see you're gonna have a lot of really good success so you see here that I've got emoji line and then the best cutest and funniest animal videos those are also terms that people can search Instagram and then pull up my account and I'll show you exactly how that happens later. But that tells people who visit my page exactly what kind of value they're gonna derive from actually following my page. So, you, so by visiting animals being silly, they're gonna get the best, the cutest, and the funniest animal videos just by visiting my page. Next, we incentivize them to actually interact with our profile by following and turning on post notifications. And you don't wanna be too blatant with it, so just make it nice and simple for them. Don't be in their face, don't say it a 100 times. And then the next thing I've got here is I've got an emoji that points down to a link. So if you're selling merch or you're selling anything at all, this is really good because it actually points the eye downward. And then I talk about what it is. So learn how to grow your Instagram just visit my channel, that's the link to my channel. And the other thing you need when you're setting up your animal or your pet page for success is you need nine pieces of really good content to start off on your page. Now, a really good way to actually grow this page is follow for follow, and I'll link a video up here. So that way you guys can check out exactly how to do the follow for follow strategy to make sure that your account actually starts growing organically because if you post great content and there's not an audience there to push it, then it doesn't really do you any good because there's no one to actually see that content. That's why it's really important to check out those strategies that I talk about in that video, whether it's follow for follow or the dollar 80 strategy, there's a whole bunch of information and I talk about it piece by piece so that way you can succeed on the gram. And the next question you probably have is how often should I post on my pet or my animal Instagram account? And that's a really good question because in my opinion, I think you should post at least once a day, preferably twice a day, but you can get away with once every other day or once every third day, but that will impact your growth because there's less content for the Instagram algorithm to actually push to more people on the Instagram platform so that way they can come check out your content and your profile. So the more high quality Instagram content that you actually create for the Instagram platform, the more the algorithm has to push to new eyes to see you and your pet or animal Instagram account. 
So you know how I said that our bio and our name actually make our account searchable? Well, I hopped on another account of mine and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean by it is searchable. So this is really important if you want your page to be found. I'm gonna type in funny animal videos and look, we're already popping up. But this is just gonna be an organic search, so we're not gonna go to the recommended. But we see animals being silly pops up when you type in funny animal videos on Instagram. Go ahead, try it for yourself on your phone. And if you want a really good example of how to grow your pet page quickly, well, I've got my girlfriend's page, Pip and Meeks, pulled up on my phone here. This is my girlfriend's page that she started after watching all my videos and it works great for her. She's grown so fast and she's killing it. So we see that she's got Pip and Mika, which are her cat's names. And then she's got the breeds, which makes them searchable for Instagram and for Google. And then followed up by that, she's got the information that she wants people to know who visit her page. She's got the matching profile picture and the cover photos like we talked about. And then she's got the call to action of following us for daily cuteness. And that's really important. So let's move into how to actually structure your Instagram post so that way when people actually see your Instagram post on the Explore page, they wanna follow you. So here's an example from one of my recent posts on animals being silly. And you'll see that this post absolutely killed it. And you know what? I gained like eight or 9,000 followers off this post, but I don't have insights for reels. So I can't tell you the exact amount. So the first thing that you actually need is you need to have your caption. Now the caption needs to be engaging, but in my case, this is a video where you have to listen to the, the audio that comes out of this video. So I put volume on with some emojis and you don't wanna just say, oh, so cute. You want something that draws the viewer's attention to the post. You want something that engages the viewers or captivates them to leave a comment. So ask them a question. That's a really good way to get people to actually engage with your content. And when people engage with your content, that means the Instagram algorithm's like, hey, this isn't a crappy piece of content. Let's push it further. So the farther it gets pushed, the more people that are actually gonna see the post and the higher probability you're gonna get more followers from that post. The next line here is my call to action. So follow me at animals being silly for the funniest animal videos on the gram. Now, I know a lot of people are like, follow me at whatever for more. No. We don't really care what for more is. You want people to know what sort of value they're gonna derive from following you. So I'm saying follow me at Animals Being Silly for the funniest animal videos on the gram because that's what they're gonna get from my account. So if you've got a cat, you wanna say, follow me at the cat king for the greatest cat content on the gram, not just for more. And if you are reposting, you've got the original piece of content, make sure you give the content owner credit for that content. And the last thing I wanna cover in this video is if you're looking to get really good content on your pet or your animal Instagram page, head to the Explore page, find an account with 20,000 followers or less, and make sure that you average the amount of likes that they normally get on a post and take their top 10% of posts. And this can be applied to your pet page because you can actually replicate these pictures or videos with your pet, or on your theme page, you can repost this phenomenal content. So anyway, after watching this video, you should have all the tools available to learn how to grow your animal or pet Instagram account. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and drop a subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.